Bro, when I, when I put up, who do you want me to interview for uh, Bonsai? Everyone put you. Really? Well, I'm here. Hey, guys. Show my face. We've got a phone. Yo, yo. I always, I always keep on, I always want to say in the place or in the building or some shit. <laughs> in the gulag, <laughs> in the gulag. In the we've got a foe, we've got foe in the gulag. Yeah. <laughs> and obviously we know each other already. We've performed uh, together at the Vented show. Yeah, man. As I stay back, I observe my third eye opens as I look around the curve of the class, but I think about the past. Yeah, man, it's sick to have you, bro. How are you doing? Thank you for having me, man. I'm good. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yeah, what have you been up to? Trying to keep occupied. Trying to yeah. do, do some music, I guess. Obviously, like, got to stay creative. Um, like, just trying to go out. Like, obviously, my ones. Like, do some exercise, stuff like that. Just stuff, like, that I wouldn't usually have time for. Just make the time for it. So, it's a good opportunity to make more music and experiment with different shit exercise and all that stuff so, so you've been making music yeah I'm, I'm working on an album like as we speak because i i never i i always somewhat have space to like just keep creating and it's it's such a blessing because because whenever like because like i drop i drop i drop a lot of projects you know what i mean so if i if i like drop a an ep i'll be working on the album like as i'm working on the ep like it's, it's a bit crazy but yeah you're good. prolific like, I have a lot of creative energy that I can just output. So, and you've dropped some sick, sick projects. <sighs> Big up, Spented. Yeah, man. <laughs> of course. You do kind of old school boom bap, but then it's obviously with your own spin. And there's piss all anyone doing that in the UK. Yeah, nice. No, it's I think I feel like there's a there's a lack of that, even though like the the whole like grime and like you know UK rap kind of thing is like blowing up and and it's a quite a common route to go down. Um, I think I feel like it's just harder to to shine in your own in your own light if you if you people like you know choose to go down that route and that's nothing against you like I fuck with your shit and that it's, it's hard. Like if you do it well then that's 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 calm in it. But it's harder to 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 outshine because there's less there's less room to to shine. Whereas if you're doing like something like UK like old school hip hop boom bap like it's just you know there's less of it. So so you have more, more room to kind of just create freely and not have to be restricted really to, to anything, which is just a blessing. Yeah, so it's nice. And what made you go down that route? It's just what I was brought up on and that, that was what really inspired me and like got me going when I was younger, just like writing and, and, and yeah, it just is that's what kind of motivated me and attracted me to, to music. So that was like my main, <laughs> that was like the first kind of glimpse I got of, of music which which kind of pushed me to to just want to create more there's not really a reason i guess it was just what I, what sounded good for me and what i wanted to do so it feels very natural when you do it leading on from that who's your inspirations that made you want to do that i mean it's just what kind of pushes me and motivates me is just to to stay as unique as i can and i guess the only way of doing that is just stay is being yourself you know um and so just a lot of artists that can really just be themselves fully and make their music that is their sound and that's you know their whole thing is that they embody the persona of themselves but it's it's elevated obviously because it's a it's an ent entertainment thing so you got to show you know some you got to show the people something you know what I mean so what inspired me is not necessarily something musical it's more just people being themselves and just creating freely with without having to to really front or or act like someone they're not so that's what i i strive to to do and and, and like hopefully that kind of comes through with the music your passion for the music definitely comes through people are all like lord Carner, but they had no, there's like it's just not that that's just not it like that's the only thing that people can compare that shit to and did you always find it easy to be yourself or there's that whole thing, finding yourself, like it's a bit cliche and a bit... It's cliche because it's true. It, exactly. It's a, it's, a very, it's a very true thing and, and, and everyone has to go through that patch of finding themselves and, and, and whether it's high or low or both, like that's, that's what I had to go through. And, um, and I'm, you know, you, you haven't found yourself or you, you haven't found your sound 
until the end because people are always changing. How did you find that sound? What was the process of that like? Because the thing is, a lot of people don't find it easy to be themselves. If you're completely comfortable with yourself, then you'll be able to experiment and be yourself on, any, on anything. Anything that you create it will be purely from you and from your expressions, from your emotions, from what you feel. So that's kind of, you know, like, I felt, I felt like I was getting to the point where I was comfortable with myself, even though like, you know, there were, like I had just a phase of like, just like bare social and just, just like, just not like the best time. Just like, you know, when, when you're in social situations, you, you kind of got to find ways to fit in. And sometimes I was just, I know I never fit into the situ social situation. Because I'm it's funny you say that you're introverted because you seem very extroverted the times I've met you. Yeah, no, no, no. But the thing, yeah, that's the thing. Like, when when I'm with people, I can I can switch on I can switch on and like you know show some of my inner confidence for people. You know, like that's I'm a talkative person and I, I like to say I'm a, I'm a nice person, so I, I would go and approach people and stuff like that. No, but, you're definitely a nice person. Yeah, <laughs> you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bro. When I, no, when I when I um, but when I'm with my with myself, like I I feel yeah, obviously that's when you're with yourself. But I like I like to be in the basically um so as well as as like being out with friends but I, I i always find comfort in just being alone and that's from that stems from being comfortable with yourself you know some people um aren't comfortable with themselves and always want to be with other people so that you know it's it's in the back of their head it's not really um something that they have to focus on so i think it's just important for people to, I guess, um, just try to figure out how to be comfortable with yourself and and everything else. But it's not easy. Like you have to go through a lot of shit. This was like like just a couple years back, and this was even just before I was making music. Mm. Um, uh, kind of music was just my way out of, of kind of just not fitting in. So I think that was also something. Um, Back to the question of like why hip hop and why that like that um, hip hop but like old school like boom bap, um, it was because I, I didn't feel I wouldn't have felt comfortable um, doing something else um, and I feel like that was the most me sound that to go down and um, and also it's it's a good way to people will listen to, listen to you more if you you know if it's if it's more interesting to the ear, if it's something different, you know, they, they'll they'll give you they'll give you they'll give you more time to actually take the time to listen. And that's just the thing. That's just the thing with with old school hip hop is people think about what you're gonna what you're gonna say um, and what you're saying more than if it's like a trap song. Yeah, when you say music was your way out, could you elaborate on that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think for a lot of people, it's quite therapeutic. Like. Uh, especially like the lyrical kind of writing down lyrics and writing kind of side of everything. So, so whatever, it's kind of like a conversation with yourself where you can open up, but it wouldn't be to anyone in particular. It would just be on a piece of paper. So you just be like writing down and, and then just yeah. express it's going to flow out, out from yeah. it. And it's like the subconscious coming out of your, through your writing. So like writing is something where, you can just write and you don't have to think about it. And so like, that's what I do when I write. I don't actually think about what I'm going to say. I just, I just like, maybe like just type on my phone for like an hour, just bare shit. And then I make it into, into kind of a rap format. So, cause, cause it's just, it's just bare stress relieving, just like flowing, like just, just writing bare. So it's, it's nice. Yeah. I guess getting it out onto a page and onto an instrumental, it gives it structure to those negative feelings. Yeah, exactly. It gives clarity, like to, you know, if you see it on a piece of paper, you can actually look at it and acknowledge it and understand, and think about it and understand it. Whereas if, if it's in your head, then you like, you gotta think about it more than just like visually just see it and then be like, okay, why do I feel like this, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's not. And everyone's got their ways of dealing with things, with things, and having music is such a sick way of dealing with things. Exactly, man. It's sick. It's sick. I mean, it's 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 hard work as well, you know. Like, you know yeah. this. It's really cool when you hit a vein 
of creativity where you can produce a lot of stuff because it means that you're doing something right. It means that you found a pattern where you can apply it so easily. Mm. You can then create a big body of work, which is something I really respect. So where did you grow up in London? Uh, I grew up in Camden, uh, like just off Camden Road. Um, yeah, and what's that? What's, what was it like growing up there? It was blessed, man. It was blessed. I haven't been back because my parents split. So like my... My dad moved to New York and my dad and my mum moved like further east. Um, but Camden, Camden's crazy, like, you know, Camden, like, it's just, it's, it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> like, what makes it funny? Bro, it's crap town, isn't it? Like, it's just, it is, it's like, it is. It it's, is. Just, it's literally yeah. crap town. No, I always find it so funny when I walk through that uh, bridge and then there's yeah. literally, it's like, Smoke weed. <laughs> just smoke weed. Just smoke weed. Just smoke yeah. weed. Just smoke weed. Like, like everywhere. It's it's like you're you're here every two seconds. It's, it's like it's like a soundscape. <laughs> Growing up in Camden, how has that affected you musically? Yeah, definitely a lot. Like um, I went to French school um, in in like Camden, like yeah. hospital, not too far from well, actually like right next to um, Matt Cafe. Um, and so like my mum is French, she speaks French and so I was brought up with French so the whole like French rap um, side and there's quite a big like community of French people in, in, in London as well so like for the majority of my, of my up, upbringing it was like very around that so I had that whole musical side and that whole that whole thing just like writing, writing shit in French and like French literature and all that stuff and then like in my, in my later years and like as like a teenager moved to like um English school and then and then kind of like grew up with more more like English people and like people from London and stuff so um it was a diverse upbringing of like two cultures and then somewhat like merged into one so it was it was kind of crazy but so tell me about Silent Enemy Volume 2 yeah that that was like kind of the stepping stone of kind of just um, knowing it myself and other people acknowledging um, that I can that I can make good music and yeah, like I look back to it now and and you know the quality isn't as good as the stuff I really I've released recently but it still is such a big stepping stone in my life and my like musical career just because that's when people clocked for me like people messaging me like yo shit like this is actually hard because my shit before that wasn't you know it wasn't like incredible um like most people when they start off so it was it was just a big moment for me as well like it's like a it's like a mixtape that you like that you release out there and you work fucking hard towards so now it was it was it was a good feeling to get get it out and and yeah we move on to the next one <laughs> And how did you find getting that recognition? Uh, bro, it's, it's fucking incredible. And I never thought, you know, people that I didn't know would message me and say that they like my stuff. And because it's so personal to me, it's like, it's almost just crazy that people can connect with that as well. And kind of be like, yo, know, like, song like, made me think about this. Or, um, you know, stuff like that. It's, it's just, it's weird, but, you know, I, it's just a humbling feeling to have that and it's also motivation to to just keep making more stuff um that you know hopefully people will enjoy yeah uh what's your writing process like yeah as, as i said it was just it's mainly just kind of it's more of a flow kind of like i try to to not really think about it too much and um kind of if i base it off like how i'm feeling at the time I'm writing it, you know, like, so say I'm like, I'm just bare tired or I'm hungover, or I don't know. Um, I'll just like get on my phone and just like get in this little tin, this little booklet, and then just like write That's the it. Out. <laughs> just like, just, and my, my, my handwriting is bare, like super bad. So, so like when I write, like sometimes I'd read back and I'm like, what, what does this even say? But. But um, it's just more just like flowing. It's like it's like anything. Right? It's like I don't know, like fucking cooking or walking. It's just you you do it and you don't think about it. 
it's just you're you're, you're just doing it. It's like zen. You know what I mean? What makes you want to write a lyric? Like something that sounds good, um, that has a, a deep meaning to it, that people can think about and interpret in their own way. Um, and just yeah, like like I always try to one up the the bar that I wrote before and and the song that that I previously wrote. So it's always about just me trying to elevate everything that that I do in every aspect and that just takes practice and just the more you create the more you write the better you'll get the better you'll get that's just facts and I feel like everyone's like whoa like you're improving like every song like literally if I send my song they're like yeah you're improving so much but that's because I'm, st I'm still learning so much and I'm still like you know I'm still new to this shit so I'm still like every day I'm learning something new and I'm putting it into my craft. So I'm forever grateful to anyone that has taken the time to listen to my music because it means so much. And just the reason why I started was just for myself. Like I didn't tell anyone for the, the first like five months of making music that I made music. It was purely for myself. So the fact that people actually like it is just, it's just amazing. And it's, and yeah, like it, it makes me proud. <laughs> I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> And so just going back to the show that you told me about that you did that was sold out. Mm. That's sick. Yeah. yeah, no, it was, it was, it was amazing. I mean, like Rushy was the, the um, uh, headline. So a lot of people pulled up for him, but luckily they, so the people that went for him, like got to see my, show, like, my part. So, um, but no, that was, that was in Bristol as well. And first time going to Bristol and like, I got quite a few friends at uni there. And they all came. It was just it was just very nice to, to have a, a big link up, and um, yeah, now nah, it was it was it was really good. It was good fun, man. Um, but yeah, more to come, and hopefully I'm gonna go back soon. Um, mm. Yeah, I can't wait. I, I can't wait to perform again, man. It's been it's been so long. Like I just in my room, like jumping on my bed, bed like pretending that I'm at a show, just getting gas. Like my mum like walked in the other day. She's like, "Why are you screaming?" <laughs> <laughs> We should um, work on should work on something as well, man. Like, um, I don't mind diving into into your realm, and you feel free to dive into my realm. Like, bro, thank you. I, I, yeah. To be honest, I would much rather delve into your realm. Um, so, where are you planning to take this in the future? Well, so I started a collective um, with like some friends, like some from Glasgow, some from London, some from Brighton. I had an idea of just making, being able to expand, kind of like our creativity and push ourselves to do something different, you know, like, so with that stuff, it wouldn't necessarily be boom bap, it, it could be something completely different, but it's, it's just a way of expressing ourselves in the way that we would we usually wouldn't as solo artists. And um, yeah, it's called We Mind Collective, and it's just gonna be us just making music and making clothes and I don't know, just, just having fun really, but uh, hopefully that works out and we've got, we've got a song done already which is which is a good song so yeah it's good oh, that's exciting stuff bro yeah man. and so you, it's nice to hear that you're working on a lot of new stuff as well for sure for sure and yeah well I, i'm not going to be releasing until the album I, I might release like a couple of singles before but that's really what i'm heavily focusing on is it's just a flat what flat makes album. what makes you want to do albums more than <laughs> singles I mean, obviously, singles. All of my, all of my most streamed songs are my singles. But I just love, I just love the idea of just creating a, a project. Like everyone's always like, no, no, I'm gonna wait like five years to, to do my first like album. And I'm just like, it's 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 more of a work of art, you know. It's more of a piece if you put loads of things together into a whole like vibe and like creative. I don't know, like just mash it together. And I just, I just think it's, it's a beautiful thing of just being able to, to create albums. It's like, it's, I don't know, you know, I don't know. It's cool. That's what I, that's what, that's the way I'm going to go for a long time. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to have like 10 albums by the, like, by 20, 30. Yeah. I just think it's such an achievement at our age to say, listen, like I've released an album. I guess yeah. when you release an album, it's just more cohesive. It's, Mm. It's, it's not about the song, it's about you. Yeah, exactly. And it's a good way of just being completely free and someone can, doesn't have to focus on one certain thing, but more of the thing as a whole. 
So if I want to portray something or tell someone something, um, I feel like if I tell them in an album or in something, you know, bigger one EP, um, then, you know, they, they'll get the message, you know what I mean? So that's what I did for What's Done in the Dark, um, which, mm-hmm. which is one of my favourite, like, um, kind of projects that I've, I've made because it's a whole kind of vibe. And if you listen to the, the whole thing, like, you can tell the songs apart, but it's just still a general feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I want to do this. Like, I want to do mine. <laughs> and another thing, yeah. <laughs> um, another thing is is your visuals, as well. Your visuals are sick. Your visuals for drifting. I guess it just reminded me of an old school hip hop video. It was minimal, but very effective. Thank you, man. I fucking edited that myself. It took me like three weeks. Swear. I did it on iMovie, so I didn't have the best resources, but. But no, it was it was it was basic. It's just it was just me and my boy Tristan just just filming around Glasgow and and just I, I edited it and stuff. But yeah, it was it was it was nice. And I I don't think for like many people have watched that video, but, but no, it's cool. And it was good to collaborate as well with um, Honey JD at Loud House for, for the live visuals. I I want you to edit something behind me as well, like something funny. We should we should just link up with Max or something like. A hundred percent will go to the fucking pub, mate.